All right. Good morning, Ms. Brevard's class. Welcome to Poem in Your Pocket Day. It is a day for us to celebrate poetry uh, by sharing poems that we've written and favorite poems here in our library. And it actually is officially Poem in Your Pocket Day all over the United States. It is today is the official day where you're encouraged to carry a poem in your pocket and share it with as many people as you can. We are recording our poetry right now so that our families can watch it later. We also have some family members who are joining us live. So we welcome all of the family members who are listening in. Now you'll notice when we're up here, we have on a mask, right? So you have to speak up a little bit louder than normal, and you also need to be in front of the microphone. So you might need to raise it or lower it for you. Um, also be careful up here because there are a lot of cords and lights, and um, just be careful as you're stepping, you're not tripping. So I'm going to start us off with a poem, and remember, after you share a poem, we celebrate that poem with snaps, or if you don't like to snap, you can also do a quiet clap. All right. So here is our first poem. This is called A Pocket Poem, and it's by Bobby Katz. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new rhythms, you can skip, you can dance, and wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you. And nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. All right, and Ms. Brevard, is it okay if we just start down the row or did you have an order in mind? Oh, we can start down the row. All right, so who on this front, which end wants to start? Okay, well, will you down. start it? Going down the road. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want me to sit beside you? Thank you. 
Right. Uh, TV now. <laughs> you can push it back if you need to. Mom and dad and sister, you are special to me. You are kind. You are really my favorite parent and sister. I will never talk talk to strangers ever again. I will do my homework. I 
we feel are very important. I will love you. I will care about you. I will think about you. I think you are that. I love you, mom and dad and sister. You are special to me. Are uh, you are the best? Is free. I feel we find on me. I have a page. It is free. Right. Anyone else? Any, any teachers? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bard might be good on, guys. This is intimidating. You can do it. Mr. Bard's class, happy, engaged, excited, loving, the best.